<laughs> okay. Uh, we have an, an intruder. That That is, of course, if uh, Miss Xu isn't also forecasting for the Chinese community. Okay, Sieves again. Mayans, Mongols, Spanish and Huns for both teams. And one guy asking me about the stream links. Come on. Are you real? Are you for real? Let me fast give him the links. And he can choose whatever he wants to. Okie dokie, back to the game fast. So we saw the sieves. Now let's see again the pockets and the flanks in the right flank. Uh, this time we're gonna see uh, Ra again, Ra, Mayan against Mongol, Lix. And in the left flank is gonna be Mongols, uh, Chris against Spanish, Lang. Oh, and looks like Lang wanted to no 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 actually chris was probably trying to to lame lang i don't know because i see him in uh, in lang's base oh but lang pay attention he's gonna lose the scout yeah i can't believe he did that and chris now is running back with with the scout scout advantage for chris in this side Damn, I can't believe that no no reaction really for for Lang. He knew that his scout is having less hit points, though he kept fighting. Hmm. He's pretty dead, man. Look, he didn't find his bars. Yeah, and you fighting, but now with Chris having three hit points for his uh, scout, he cannot maybe after this boar it's not super far away that one not far from the wood you see that one oh and chris missed the chance to get one sheep now he's gonna get it so imagine poor lang now he's gonna be like almost blind he doesn't know where the boars are not good not looking good for the yeah, Chinese he'll, team. He'll find it eventually. He's sending a villager. But that villager he can see the boar. I think he could. And he will probably with the house, right? This is coming. No, not with, with the, the house, but uh, he will have to explore in the right side. He with the house. But he he will see it. <clears throat> He's not, man. Ah, he will see it now. Okay. The problem for him is that the other boar is actually pretty far uh, on the south, so I, I think yeah. he will not see that. Unless. Oh, he's using the ship to try to find it. Chris asking for help. Yeah, Mentalist is is with the scout there. Let's see if Mentalist will try to lame that boar and get it to to Chris Town Center. Right. <laughs> he's yeah. He's gonna lose another ship. Who? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. He just lost it. Uh, he lost thing. it. Yeah, I see. I see. Oh, oh, he's man. in such a bad situation. He won't have economy to upgrade, he doesn't know where his boar is. That was a pretty bad engagement. Oh, but he's sending he's sending the villager good Lang straight to the boar. And now he can see it. Yep. He can see the second boar. Damn. Yeah, that was really lucky. I see leaks coming with deers to the mill. 
Okay. Raw making now the barrack. Leaks without. So again, Leaks will try to go fast feudal and fast castle. Lang also making the barrack. Priest is already having it up. Okay, Mentalist is there with the scout. Do you think they uh, they gonna sling again in this game? Who you mean, Canada or China? Both. Um, well, I don't know, sling? but uh, I seriously don't like uh, Spanish as uh, as flank. Um, Canada has a nice advantage because Spanish is pocket on the other side as well as Hans, so they have like the best. Uh, pocket civilizations in my opinion okay and, like uh, lang can't really wall there like just a terrible map it's a really hard map to wall i don't know how it's gonna survive he was lucky though like look at chris he's doing a five dr militia rush like he's going to rush yeah true against a, a three one Mm -hmm. But uh, now he's chasing the, the militia, so Lang is winning some time. The problem is, uh, yeah. he won't be able to wall his economy. Not in time, I mean. So it doesn't look good for him. In the other flank, Ra uh, in Lick's base. With the militias and the scout going now for the lumber. Yeah. And the, the Mayan guy uh, from China will do the same. He did the uh, last game. He's gonna go, go for plumes. Yep. I, honestly, I think Mayans against Spanish is uh, the worst combination ever. Because Spanish can do the upgrades from the the blacksmiths without gold, so they can pump uh, knights plus two easily without uh, wasting too much economy. Mm. Terrible for the China China team. Okay, Ra, gonna lose their all his militias to Lix scouts. Leaks went very fast uh, up. Uh, yeah. Not even 9 minutes and he was in feudal age already. Mentalist is now making the barrack, but why so late? Okay, mentalist is up, but his barrack is uh, still waiting to be finished. And Lang is coming also with militias. He should be, he should be careful. He's now making the stable. Ah, too late for Felix Forever to go in with the eagle and delay that stable from mentalist. Now Rix with the scouts is in raw base hitting his you know, villagers at the berry. Uh, but he's safe for now. Ra is safe for now. Jeffrey, 25% on the way to Castle Age, 30 population. Uh, with 30, Lang is also on the way to... Ah, no, he's on the way to Feudal Age only. Damn. Who else? Who else? 
42% for slam, cast lage, whoa, he's gonna be faster again, but now he's having scouts, hitting his villagers at the berry and the mill, 32 population and Elix forever, the main player in Chinese team, picked going up to castle age, mental is 26%, castle age, and Chris looking good, 36 population, the most so far and looking at the resources, not far, not far from going up, almost completely walled, no almost, it's comple he's completely walled, with gold inside, so he's gonna be fine, adding the archery range and the blacksmith and he'll go up. I don't know who's, Lang, uh, who, who's Lang, but uh, I seems like he's the weak link from China. It was a terrible mistake losing the scout so soon, and now he's pretty much dead. Like he can't really wall, and Chris is going for uh, crossbows. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> unless he does some towers, he's gonna be dead soon. Like Chris is gonna place some crossbows around his wood and go to the gold, and, and yeah, he's gonna die eventually. So. As, as Spanish, obviously, you can do crossbows as well, so uh, it looks terrible for him. Hmm. So, huge, huge dis disadvantage for for them. Yeah, especially because Mayans will take quite some time to help him. The other side, uh, Spanish, uh, I think Mentalist is going only one stable and boom, a little bit, maybe mini boom and pump knights later on. But he doesn't have to make so uh, many knights because uh, Lang is already dead for Chris, in my opinion. And Chris still having all the five militias. <laughs> Elix forever will go again, castle and plumes. This is a big pause. Something happened. I just uh, checked. All players are still in, so no oh, okay. drop or okay. anything. It's only a pause. Somebody needs to get high, probably, to continue the, the game. No, no, no. <laughs> So Fij, what can you tell us about Bad Clan, man? How how are the things there? Any plans uh, for the future? Oh, not right now. <laughs> a lot of strong players, really. A lot, yeah. a lot of strong players. It's gonna be cool. Like Jing is awesome. Uh, it's gonna be a nice team for the next tournament, perhaps. Also, the Argentinian guys are there, so. Good to practice against a good, uh, a good team as well. The the thing is, uh, uh, when you're playing tournament, it's hard to find other players to practice strategies and stuff. Yeah. People that you can trust, you know, and and like because if you you if you test a strategy, you have to play people you trust. Otherwise, they're gonna spread the word and yeah, I know. Will, no? I know, I know, I know. So having two two good teams in one clan to to do it is very good. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got your I got your point. So when you guys gonna gonna challenge the tyrants? <laughs> I don't see them <laughs> playing much lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, obviously we will we will play in the next of, tournament. Of course, <laughs> everybody's waiting for the next big tournament because you guys play quite a lot lately which is so nice to see yeah I, I, I'm actually getting back on doing streams and stuff like that yeah I saw I mean I'm checking there and I I, I say to myself okay VH doesn't have time now anymore to visit our channel because he's busy 
with his channel <laughs> and so on. <laughs> no man, it's good no, news, man. really, really, it's great, great news. Yeah, good it's job. fun to stream. Good job, you enjoy it a lot. I and do, man. Also, people, people enjoy it a lot. Yeah, it's a good way to practice English, in my opinion. <laughs> it's it's a very good way. Yeah, well, I I keep but saying this to to whoever asks. Well, what's good for 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 practice? Talk. Yeah, right, it is the best. It's the best. But some of the viewers get angry be with me because most of the times I'm listening to some music <laughs> or I'm, I'm talking Portuguese with my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I. I was a few times in your chat, uh, last time, I think it was two days ago, I was watching a little bit before I go to sleep, I went to sleep, and uh, somebody was saying, lower, you know, the, the in-game uh, sounds, you know, the music, because your microphone was not as strong yeah. as the in-game <clears throat> sounds, and, mm, you know, that you were trying to explain to talk, and those uh, sounds were, were kind of, not annoying, but uh, coming over, uh, what you were saying. Yeah, I saw that later. My microphone was just too low. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I wonder if they... Oh, they're still in the game? Or yeah, not? They're, they're still like, in the game. That is a pretty long pause. No one went for lunch or something. Okay, uh, somebody in Twitch chat is asking the ancient, pr probably the old, he, he means a mix of raw mentalist and slam. Well, as far as I know, Slam didn't have any other nickname before. If maybe I'm mistaken, you you probably know better than me, Ra. I mean, uh, Ph Ra. Uh, he's using this nickname since quite a long time, right? Yeah, but he had another nickname, uh, but I, I won't remember now. Sexual healing. Uh, he's no. also I'm Venom. Yeah, th that one. Venom. And. Uh, uh, TSC Eminem, I think it was yes. also him. Yeah, it was his first nickname, TSC yeah. Eminem. TSC Eminem. Uh, uh, for mentalist, I don't know. I really don't know the guy. Uh, I think he's Liam, mentalist Liam. No idea. Oh, uh, uh, Galdrak Singh Surya was the nick uh, he was Last using time. in random map general a lot. Okay. <clears throat> Surya was the Slam nickname. Surya was Slams, right? Yeah. Don't know about Mentalist though. <clears throat> I wonder who Lix is uh, from China. I thought it was Good Boy, but Good Boy is on the China A, right? Uh, he, was, he wasn't playing any game in China. Okay. I, I don't know. But maybe he was in the list, but I didn't see him playing any game. But as far as I know, Lix is Lix. I mean, this is his uh, known nickname. Uh, before okay. the before the you know uh, rating reset, I think he was two point four. Lix. I see. Well, Joffrey is actually was actually a really good player. I don't yeah. know if yeah. he's rusty or something, but uh, on RVK he used to play really really strong, like two two K four plus. Whoa. Yeah. He was on the team. The uh, team, you know. It was Team Joffrey and another guy that I, I'm not gonna remember. So for um, this next tournament, uh, war is coming. You guys planning to, to sign up with two teams? Um, uh -huh, yeah. And in case. Uh, you know, bad one gonna face bad two. Obviously, bad two uh, gonna let you guys win, right? Out of respect. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, 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 did, I mean, did you think how to uh, not split the team, but how uh, teams uh, g gonna be in case you will sign up with two teams? I'm not sure yet. Uh, I think the Argentinian guys who will play. Together and Love you yeah, guys, together. yeah, okay. The game is continuing. Yeah, finally the game finally. continuing, indeed. Because EH didn't know what to answer to, to me. I was putting some, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> uncomfortable questions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look at, oh, 
Where? Rai is going for fuel. I thought he was going straight castle. Interesting. Uh, well, he is a man, so his archers are really cheap. Looking, mm -hmm. looking at Chris, I mean, his point of view, he's already having the resources to go up, and he is, he's up already. One archery range and one blacksmith. Uh, he will do two archery ranges, do you think? He will, right? Yeah. He's going up when poor Lang just uh, hit feudal age. Damn. Ah, but Jeffrey, look at Jeffrey. So fast, 85% yes. yes. cast the lage. 85%, but Slam is already in there. Well, I said it, he's gonna be the fastest, and he is. And yeah, adding two town centers right away. Yeah, he's going for one stable only. Looks terrible for Lang, man. Look at the militias now. You doing damage on him, and they're they're full HP, so he can't fight those guys. And not only okay. that, now now with the tower, uh, Lang, yes, he needs to to mine stone, so that when the late. He's gonna be in Castle Age to do more town centers. And he's fighting villagers against militias. Already lost one. Well, Chris lost one militia for one villager. It was okay. Now the second lost for him. And now he's having the chance to kill another villager. Let's see if Lang will save it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. But like, he has two idle villagers there he didn't sell, uh, he doesn't have food for knights, nor the upgrades, it looks terrible for him. Yeah. Oh, and Mentalist is coming with knights! Knights and a lot of wolves, look at that, cool! A lot of wolves chasing Mentalist's knights. So now Slam is helping Ra in this flank and looks like Mentalist will go with Chris in this game on the other flank. Why is Mentalist hitting the, the Palisade instead of going around with the Knights and go straight to, to the economy? Well, he's doing exactly this now. But Jeffrey now helping Lix also with knights, no upgrades for either him, Jeffrey or for Slam's knights. Lang cast rage. How was that possible, really? This is there now with crossbows, but Lang cast rage. Doing uh, doing a monastery now. Lix. On the south side, yeah. it yeah. looks uh, kind of bad for Ram because Lix is already on Castle Age. I think they're gonna, yeah, they're gonna rush there because he knows he needs to kill those archers before they go to Plumes. Lots of spearmen coming on the back. It's gonna be a huge fight there. Hmm. Okay. AGP. Slam. Yeah, Slam lost the the scout. It looks like Jeff is having more knights, yeah, he is, not looks. Yeah. He's having almost double and plus one armor, while Slam still no upgrades for his knights. Yeah. They are going back, but and in Lang's base, like you said, look at Chris with crossbows, uh, making Lang go away from the lumber camp and uh, also hitting the knights, oh, and Mentalist, Mentalist with the help. Well, Alex Forever is there with a few plumed archers he's trying to, to fight, but what to do against two armies, really? Yeah, he, he's dead. 
33 population only for Lang. Hmm. Okay, I see Elix forever coming with more plumed archers. But the same Chris is coming with more crossbows in the back. Mentalist also there with uh, knights. Ah, nice reading now from Lix and Jeffrey hitting Ra at the lumber. Like you said, looks like in this flank Ra is having some problems. Doubled and feudal army against castle army. But still, he's he's looking much better than uh, Lang on the other side. Ra, 63 population, Lang 34, and losing, still losing. A lot of villages on stone for Lang though, vanished. So he will go castle and conquistadors. Yeah, but he's gonna go for a town center probably first. Uh, but he's pretty dead, like. Yeah, he's he has only five or six villagers taking food, and yeah, he's building a town center. A town center, yeah, from. you're right. But it, it, it looks terrible for him. He's out of the game. It's the same as happened on um, last game with, with Jeffrey. Joffrey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Well, rising castle age now, so he will make them also crossbows, and he has a lot of archers. Yeah, Ooh, but the problem easily. there is not yeah. is not uh, about Rad. The problem is that Slan is way better than Joffrey now. Slan went for one stable and uh, three town centers straight, right? And yeah. Joffrey went for two and two stables, and they did not made such a good damage on Rad. So uh, it was kind of a waste of time. And now Slan has a way better, bigger economy. I'm surprised. Uh, Chris is not sending a forward, you know, to build a... Ah, he will now. It was like almost he could hear me. Yeah, he's sending a forward widget to build a siege workshop. It was what I wanted to say. And going with uh, either Ram or Manganel. Uh, by the way, what do you think it's it's more effective, better to, to do? Uh, Ram or Mangonel? Uh, with knights help, uh, ram for sure. Ram, okay. Also because uh, the plummet, <laughs> like the, the the lang is out of the game, so he has no no army to help. Just plummets, I think ram is easier. If Castle. you don't have your uh, yeah. your pocket uh, help, uh, then mangano is a better choice, I think, in my opinion. Okay. Castle now for lang. Oh, and a lot of. A lot of monks for him trying to convert the knights. Chris is coming with the crossbows to kill the monks. Ooh, one monk down. Still trying to convert one knight and he did. But now losing the monks. Ooh. Lang. He just converted one. Converted one and he lost three, four monks already. He converted two. Another monk down and... All monks lost, man, and he converted two or three knights. I don't think that was a very good outcome for him. <laughs> yeah. In the other flank, Ra, like you said, still holding. And with a better economy, now uh, Slam is making the fourth stable. And he's pumping knights from all, so far from three stable. They will overpower in that flank the, the Chinese team. Yeah. Uh, one thing I would have done if I was the Chinese guys, I yeah. would uh, like if I was Joffrey, for example, I would have uh, asked uh, Lix to come with me on Slam's base instead of uh, instead of uh, hitting, trying to hit Rather Ra, because yeah. Ra is camping on the hill, so they can't kill there, you know. So yeah. it would be smarter to go to Slam's base because Slam has a pretty open base. So if you put some knights and and crossbows there, he would be dead. Uh, like, you could kill his economy, lots of villagers, and also destroy these tables, and Slam would be out of the game for some minutes. You know? Yeah. And then Ra would have to either help him or either attack 
uh, licks, but with only uh, crossbows, uh, would not be such a good, uh, effective attack, you know? Yeah. So, sometimes just trying to rush all the time is not a, a good thing. You need to be smarter sometimes. But obviously, it's quite hard to, to think about those things in the, inside the game. True, I mean, when, when you're focusing so much, uh, for us, seeing all the map, it's it's easy to say, okay, uh, he should go there because it's open and so on. But in-game, you know, when you don't know what's happening in all over the map, not as easy. Rai you know, is going to lose this siege workshop, and I don't know why he didn't uh, try to counter the mangonels from, from Lix. Well, Lix lost one of the mangonels, but now Ra is out of siege workshops. Monastery for him. And, and slam plus two, Jeffrey plus two, and plus one attack, yeah, for both armies. Both are trying to take advantage of that heal. Oh, another good shot for Ra, destroying the, the other mangonel from Lix. And now, now, ah, he shot, he tried to, to kill the, the crossbows, but didn't do too well. Big fight now, big fight between Ra, Slam on one side and Lix with Jeffrey on the other side for the Chinese team. A small hill advantage for Lix, having the crossbows on that hill and also coming with another mangonel. Now they should go back and they are. Damn. And oh, good to see this. Look at Elix Forever is in Imperial Age. And he will most likely go plumed archers. I don't see him making. No, no, no. He's going elite eagles. Yeah, making more barracks now. And what do you think? He will go to help Lang. Uh, or he will come in, in this flank and will try to push even more. Uh, slam. He's gonna, he's gonna go for pocket, I guess. For pocket, okay. Yeah, yeah. he's sending. He's sending already the, the eagles. The the thing is, uh, Lang is out of the game, so it doesn't matter if you try to help him there. But the problem is that he's against Mongols, which is the the strongest civilization and Chris is actually boons well, like a four town centers a castle up already uh, in my opinion looks GG for the China team like Slam is already upgrading there Geoffrey didn't click it oh he just clicked it now okay um, yes poker. Lixis, this is this is the uh, whole map Russian. of China sorry go ahead uh, Lix is rushing with uh, Mongols which is not such a wise thing to do uh, you would rather boom and try to go to Imperial Age, right? Yeah. But no, he's he's playing really aggressive style, which uh, is something I don't like as a Han play, uh, Monk player, in my opinion. Boomy is, is smarter. Uh, well, it's gonna depend on how much damage Forever can do. Yeah. But the thing is, I don't think he will be able to kill two, because now Chris, uh, I think, probably upgrading. Let's see. Man yeah, he's upgrading as, as well, so I don't think uh, the Mayan guy would be able to kill two in... Uh, Lix coming in forward uh, to build a castle. Probably to, yeah. to secure that gold for him, he will, he will start to mine that gold. He, he don't want Ra to take it, but the thing is Ra has some gold on the back, his map is good. So, it doesn't matter for him too much. Okay. Oh, forever is hating raiding Slam's base. That's good for for, for him. Lots of eagles actually. Yes indeed, and now Chris hit Imperial Age as well. Yeah. But nevertheless, like you said, nice, nice raiding uh, from forever. 
in Slam's base. But uh, they, uh, Canada, Canada team also having mentalist uh, helping with a few knights, and now Slam is having cavaliers. What is Chris doing though? Oh, nice big big fight now in in Ra's base with uh, with Slam cavaliers and Ra with crossbows trying to to get rid of all that time. and they will man they will they're having just too many there how they can stop this really yeah they can't that was a bad castle placement. Well, the thing is, left side is totally GG for the China, and they are not winning the right one as well, so that's bad for them. Hmm. I see uh, Alex Forever sending two trebuchets to hit Chris's uh, army, but no defenses for him. And Chris with Mango dies. We know how good they are against siege units. Look at that. Yeah, one down. The second down. And Elix forever now sending to help Lang. Oh, obviously they want to keep him alive. Still under a hundred population for Lang, while all the others, I mean Ra, that was having. Uh, problems and under a lot of pressure is having more than yeah 121 population I, I really don't like Lix Castle's placements he's making the second one for that as well oh and he's making uh, the elite Mangudai upgrade he wants that gold I, I I don't know, I mean, I don't imagine why else. Well, Rai's kind of out of the game, he doesn't have much army, he just have the town centers and villagers. Yeah. So I think it would be smarter to, to attack Slam. They need to, to take him out of the game, because uh, Forever won't hold 2v1 there. No, they won't. And he's losing, he's losing. I mean, even if it was just against Chris, he wouldn't be able to hold. Like, now Mangadais are just too powerful against Egos. You get 30 Mangadais, there's no way you can kill them with Egos on, like, oh. hit and run. And now look at Slam raiding with Ra, uh, Lix, Lix based, and Mentalist also coming with Cavaliers. Oh. Nah. He will dis they will destroy the town center. And kill all the villagers. Ra is moving on to, to raid even more. Oh, and they can actually, they will see the trade. If Ra will go even further to the north a little bit, they will go straight to the trade route. Yeah, but there, there's no trade cards yet. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it, much it's there. just a few, yeah, but uh, they, they, they could see it where it is. Anyway, Jeffrey. With Cavaliers as well, still trying to, to do a lot of damage to, to Ra economy. Uh, Slam again coming with a few Cavaliers to defend. But you are right, I mean, Lang did. He's struggling, he's struggling to, to stay in the game. But it's looking, he's still looking difficult. Uh, he wants, he wants to come back to the game. Unless he gets some, some sling, but he wants to get back. There's not, nothing he can do actually now, it's just bad for him. Yep, looks like it's bad. One of the well, castles down, yep. I would call GG for the China, but uh, let's see. Let's see if uh, Mongols can do something, but he's 2v1 there. Uh, mentally he says Paladins. Lots paladins, of paladins, I see now, space. yep. Yeah. Well, I, mean, I, I, I think I think this is the, their hope, the ch uh, Chinese team hope uh, d in this flank, in Ross flank, to try and do some push, but I don't know. It doesn't seem to be that strong. Yeah. 
I mean, if you compare the, the leg and bra, the difference is huge. Yes, it is. Also, because of the elite magda is from Chris, I'll upgrade it. Oh. And obviously, paladins are much stronger against Mangadise than egos are, so uh, to me, it looks over for the China. Uh, really nice map control, by the way, for Mentalist. He's taking uh, Castles on the middle, taking out the, the golds. That's yeah, nice. I see. And Jeffrey. Look at it, yeah. man. Jeffrey! He's just too focused, probably. Nice, look at Elix forever sacrificing the elite eagles to, to kill the destroy the trebuchets and he did even though he lost a lot of eagles there but uh, for now he saved Lang's castle Chris lost four trebs four trebs and another look at Lix with another castle of, in, in Ra's base forward Elite Mango dies. Well, like he's he's taking so much time to kill Ra. Yeah, he is. Uh, Joffrey actually needs to help the other side. They are dying there. There is nothing Lang can do and nothing the mine guy can do. So they need help. And Lix would be the guy that would have to hold one v two. Okay, Paladins for, for Jeffrey as well. So, like I said, this is their hope to push in this flank, in, in Ra's flank. Yeah. But uh, as you can see, I, I think Joffrey doesn't have gold anymore. He's starting to make light cavalry. So, probably he's out of gold and they, they can't trade anymore. I think they are gonna call GG in a few minutes. Look at the fight of the Eagles against the Paladins and Magdalise. Nah, it's, My it's guys over, it's trouble. over. Yeah. Now Chris can go back and kill the trade easily with Mentalist uh, being uh, be there with the Paladins. Nah, what can they do? Yeah, yeah Joffrey should have done... Uh, I mean helped the Mayan guy. Yeah, and Chris is going now again to the trade now, coming back because probably he saw the eagles. Yeah. Um, I I don't like Leek's uh, attack on this one. Taking too much time to, to advance, he needs to do it really quickly. And actually, like, he's fighting Paladins instead of hitting the the mango dice, trying to chase the mango dice. But anyway, he was having a lot more. Damn, he killed all the paladins. Impressive, yeah. really. In the other flank, Ra is still holding with help from Slam, obviously. But like you said, yeah, Jeffrey now is having light calves. Probably he's out of gold. Doing such a bad, bad game there. He lost all the Mangadise. Didn't use the the heal. He lost so many Mangadise there. Yeah, I saw it. Mm. 
And now Slam will come with even more Paladins and he will hit the other Mango dies as well. And in the other flank, yeah, Chris advancing now with the trebuchets and the mango dies with some support from Mentalist finally Lang after 50 minutes in Imperial Age, but he's 36 population, 36 population. What to do really? Trying to wall, he's trying to wall so that he can block them to I mean that the Canadian team to go into the trade route on that flank. In the other side, looks like Slam and Mentalist will push back Leaks. Oh, Chris has so much economy right now, he's going for Siege Onagers. Yeah. Looks like uh, Mentalist is also out of gold because he also switched to light calves where is genitive by the way uh i don't oh, know i'm here ah. i'm here he's here drinking a beer probably no 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 i had a coffee <laughs> no i'm just uh, checking for that's like the trade and so on but it's um it's a late imperial game now nothing special to to observe Yes, it is. They are still trying to push this side. Yeah, go ahead. One thing, the trade for Canada is not as strong as I thought. Um, Chris has 2,000 and Mentalist has only 600. It's, it's not so much. Alex Forever has 2.7. Joffrey has 2.3. Um, so the trade actually I don't know Canada <coughs> could trade as much as they like but it's not sold profitable yet nice is Jeffy trying to do the raiding now he's saving hussars and sending to to slam base oh come on slam seat man he's gonna lose a lot of villagers and the lumber camps. Hmm. Oh, check the corner in the north. Yeah, I, I saw that Chris uh, break that wall and now he's inside again with the trebuchets, mentalist with the paladins and Chris is uh, going uh, even with villagers to, to build a castle right there in the trade line. It's crazy, really. Yep, he's sitting where it hurts. Okay, they are deleting the, the markets, obviously. Yeah, the markets, they will move the markets if they didn't do it already. Not yet, but still, they're avoiding some big losses. While in the other flank, oh come on, look at League so persistent. Uh, coming even more forward with another castle. Damn! And elite mango dies. Well, Chinese, uh, you know, the Chinese team is also not too far away from the the trade uh, route. So I don't know, really, I don't know. <laughs> 